Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, I'll be sharing to you how I got my UK visa. So I hope you'll stick around till the end of the video. So this is probably the best thing that happened to me this year because we all know naman how hard it is to get a UK visa. So guys, this will be a story time and as well, I'll be sharing to you the documents that I need to present and the steps as well. So yeah, so these are my documents. Yan siya. For this video nga, I'll be just sharing to you what are the documents that I presented and also what are the steps that you need to undergo during the application period. So as for me kasi, my application was on March 31 of this year and yung UK visa ko, it was delivered to us. So door to door siya. It was April 13. So parang two weeks lang yung paghihintay ko. And mind you guys, hindi nila sasabihin kung nakapasa ka or hindi. So you will know it upon opening the passport. So ayun guys, I'm just so lucky and blessed then na na-approve ako. So eto nga yung mga documents na prepare ko. See you, what are the documents that I presented and I prepared and also the steps. So we will begin first with the steps. There are actually three steps that you need to undergo during the application. So as for me kasi yung application ko or yung appointment ko was last March 31. So, right after my class, uh, it was actually 3 p.m. siya, yung appointment uh, time ko. And I need to travel from Taytay to Makati. So, can you just imagine, then guys, yung pressure and also the stress na kung makakaabot ba ako or what. So, guys, so step one, you need to present your documents. So, here are my documents. Uh, you need to label it. So, iso sort mo siya. Let's say, for example, that document falls under the employment uh, evidence or something. So, ilalagay mo siya doon. You will be responsible for that. Okay, so yun yung step one. So, iba-iba kasi guys na mga evidences that you need to sort or kailangan ilabel mo siya just like, for the payslip, it will fall under your employment evidence, things like that. And you will be given your queue number. So next step na tayo. For the second step naman, guys, uh, this will be about the scanning of the documents. So since you already have your documents, ang gagawin mo lang is ibibigay mo ang documents sa employee nila and they will be the one to scan your documents, all of it. Actually, I paid for 900 plus pesos for that. You have an option actually if gusto mo bang sila mag-scan ng documents mo or you will be the one to upload your documents. Pero as for me kasi, during that time period, sa week talaga na yun, sobrang busy. So, ay hindi ako nagkaroon ng time for the scanning of the documents. So, that is step two. And right afterwards, guys, this will be the final step. So, it's so smooth lang din. Parang almost 45 minutes lang akong nag-process for my UK visa application. So, so step three naman... This will be about the biometrics. So, this is like fingerprints mo. They will be taking a picture of you. As for my picture, guys, hindi kasi ako nakapag-retouch and all. So, hindi ka nung ka... I'm not really that pretty sa picture ko. <laughs> it will be the last step, actually. So, step three, that will be the final step. And the employee will be telling you to you, you can now go home or so something. now you have your idea about the steps so three steps lang yun guys sobrang bilis lang wala masyadong pila and kahit 3 pm na kasi ako nakadating dun sa visa center wala masyadong tao so it was really smooth Ayan, uh, this time naman guys, I'll be sharing to you what are the documents that I presented. So, I'll begin first with my documents, with the applicant's documents. So, ito siya. Uh, the first, uh, first things first, so we have the certificate of employment. Beforehand or prior to my appointment, I nakapag-request na ako ng certificate of employment. So, ayan. Since I am working kasi in a government, I see to it na lahat talaga ng evidences that I can look for or na meron akong hawak, dinala ko talaga siya, pinautocopy ko talaga siya. Such as my school ID, uh, my payslip, so six months actually yung print ko doon. Uh, may GSIS, SSS, lahat nga guys na affiliated siya sa, na meron akong name doon, nila, uh, dinala ko talaga siya. 
as well as my BIR or my teen, ganon. So, since I am working in a government kasi, so lahat, lahat talaga ng documents na I can use as an evidence that I'm really working in the government, dinala ko talaga siya, guys, because I know that they are really strict as well with your the evidences that you will be presenting. So, dinala ko yung lahat. Uh, some of it na fall siya under other documents kasi such as my TIN or the tax identification na form din nalang ko sa'yo guys so na fall siya under the other documents ayun so just make sure that you can really prove that you are working if ever na nasa government side ka or what ayun guys uh, next naman of course is your financial evidence as for me I downloaded the bank statement via app. Sa cellphone lang, guys. Hindi na ako pumila ng sobrang haba because uh, as for this bank, sobrang haba talaga ng pila. So, what I did was, I did the online banking. Tapos, ayun. I've downloaded the bank statement. So, travel clearance as well is a must. So, as for me, thankfully, I na-approve naman yung travel clearance ko because I really see to it, guys, na uh, yung dates kung kailan ako mag apply for that travel is walang pasok talaga. So, yung wala kang may iwang responsibility or what. So, yeah. Thankfully, I was approved sa travel clearance ko. So, that is also another thing that you need to consider. And of course, do not ever forget your passport kasi dito nila ilalagay yung visa is yung mga pre-prepare ko. So, if ever na wala ko nabanggit, kindly double check na lang sa website ng UK Visa Center. And finally, guys, we have now come to the last part of this video and it's all about the sponsor's checklist or documents. So, eto naman yung mga documents na kailangan mong i-present um, on behalf of your sponsor. So, here are the following, just like passport, BRP, birth certificate, certificate of employment, sponsorship letter, bank statement, uh, payslip, affidavit of support, tenancy agreement. So, they really need to look kasi na pagpunta mo dun sa ibang bansa, meron ka talagang tutuluyan and they can support you. So, yun lang yun guys. So, those are the documents that you need to present sa Visa Center for you to have your UK visa. Actually guys, as for me, I was really so excited nung nakuha ko na to. Because finally, I can travel sa European country. And sana ay matuloy because I now have my travel clearance naman. So, yan. Proper. So, yun lang yun, guys. So, those are the documents that I presented in order for me to get the UK tourist visa. So, it's only a tourist visa, guys. So, yeah. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget a like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.